this is Glenn Davis, so um, thank you for being here. And I'm going to ask him some questions. Uh, okay. So, where are you from? Originally. I'm a, I was born in Los Angeles. Did you give me like, a college background where you went? Oh, I went to Texas A&M University. Oh. And the, the only reason I went there is because my father went there. If I had to do it over again, I wouldn't go there. <laughs> yeah, I did. But I also went to University of Texas, which was more exciting. <laughs> so, could you give me like a brief career summary? Summary. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> well, I started my career in the U.S. military back in 1972. A long time ago. I'm old. Um, I spent a year in South Carolina. And my claim to fame there was getting people to vote that were away from home, absentee. And my job was to get everybody to vote, and I did. And for that, I got an Army commendation. And then the next year, they sent me to Thailand. I lived there a year. Came out of the Army in 1974. Went to work for Federal Reserve Bank in San Francisco as an economic analyst. But I didn't have a PhD. So I decided to go back to school, learn some more stuff. Went back to University of Texas, got an MBA, got hired by Salonese, worked there seven years. Left, went to L'Oreal, worked there 10 years. Left, went to Goody Products, worked there one year. Left. Went to Stella Cheese, worked there six months. Left, went to Paragel, worked there seven years. Left, went to Liner Health Products, worked there six years. Left, and now I'm here, Robinson Pharma. Cool. <laughs> okay. So, why did you want McCain over Obama? I wanted uh, McCain over Obama because. Obama is a socialist, and he will take the money and distribute it to the poor. Yeah. And it's more like a handout, and I don't approve of that. I think people have to earn what they get. So, so how, do, how will Obama impact taxes in the U.S.? He'll increase them. <laughs> <laughs> Spend the wealth. Really spread the wealth. Spread the wealth. Spread. Yeah. spread. And give it to other people. I think he'll try to equalize things, and I think there is a big gap between the rich and the poor. Yeah. And I don't. I'm not opposed to lessening that gap. I'm just opposed to the way he's doing it. Yeah. There are ways. You know. I think that. You know, people are making money. Um, you know, the people that are not making money. Mm -hmm. It's not because they can't. Uh, they're not smart enough. They just weren't given a chance. Yeah. So I'm all about giving people chances and letting them work for it. Mm -hmm. So, what else do you think Obama will do to hurt the economy? What? What else do you think Obama will do to hurt the economy? That's kind of a loaded question, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, though. He's gonna. I mean, it's like uh, you know, a pre. You know, what makes you think that? I think he's going to hurt the economy. That's question. It is. <laughs> it's a loaded question. Yeah, it's a loaded question. Why are you repeating that question? Okay. All right. One of them, that was his. I think what will happen. Oh, I like that. I think the issue is he's going to be like Carter, and he's just going to be in a situation where people are going to blame him for a bad economy. But, you know, the good thing is the stock market's the lowest it's ever been. Mm -hmm. So Obama can't lose. It's only going to get better. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So based, 
upon the fact you formerly were an economist for the U.S. government, will this country go into a prolonged recession or depression? We're already in a recession. Yeah, that's right. But well, we're in denial. <laughs> no, I agree. I hope we don't go into a depression. Mm -hmm. I don't think there will be, you know, people lining up at the missions for food as it was in the depression. Yeah. This government won't allow it to happen. You know, this is America. Because we <coughs> expect it, or they're more prepared. Well, we have enough wealth in this country at this point. Mm -hmm. We're the wealthiest country in the world. Mm -hmm. We don't want anyone to have to beg. Hmm. So with unemployment close to 7%, do you think it'll go to 10%? Yes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> 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 um, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, actually, in California, it's over 8%. It's 8.4. 8 8.4 8 now. Yeah. 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 And, um, Is it the highest? That's been the highest in, in a long time, um, you know, because, you of, because there's so much outsourcing of jobs going to India and China and all these third world countries, we will have higher unemployment. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be, you know, for the leaders of the country to decide what we're going to be. We're not going to be a manufacturer anymore. We're going to be more of a service-oriented company, a brain trust, a technology company uh, as a country. Yeah. So, how do you create jobs in the U.S.? Oh! <laughs> well, you don't tax the small guys, like Obama wants to do. Okay. Above, most of the jobs in the U.S. are created by small businesses, mm -hmm. not the big guys. Small businesses. When you hear that Walmart has a million employees, yeah, that's only one percent of the people that are working. The the majority of the jobs are created by small business, so you create jobs by not taxing the small businesses. Let them and let them flourish. Don't tax them as much as the big guys. Hmm. Oh, that's a good question. You <laughs> feel it is or no? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. What about, oh wait, is this playing? Yeah, it's playing, I think, right? Yeah. Is that play? Did I just push play?